How's it going guys, it's Kyle the HowTube Guy 123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream Steam games to your Android or iOS device using Steam Link. This will allow you to stream any game on Steam from your PC to your mobile device in any room of your house or even anywhere in the world. So let's begin by heading over to our Android or iOS device and we're going to need to download the Steam Link app. So I'm on Android so I'm going to head over to the Google Play Store and I'm going to search for Steam Link. So once you find the Steam Link app, go ahead and download and install it. The app is completely free to download. So real quick before we open the app, we're just going to want to head over to our PC and we're going to want to make sure that the remote play setting, which is going to allow us to stream games to our phone, is enabled. So just open up Steam here, come up here to the top left hand corner and click on Steam and click on settings. Now once the settings window has opened, click on remote play and then click on enable remote play. So now let's go ahead and head back over to our Android or iOS device and open up the Steam Link app. So when you first open the app, it's just going to show the Steam logo for a few seconds. Then it's going to bring you a, to a welcome screen. So just tap on get started. Now it's going to ask you if you'd like to pair a controller to play your games with. This is completely optional. You can choose to use the touch controls, but in my opinion, I would completely recommend pairing a controller. It's just a way better way to play your games with. To save time on the video, I'm just going to tap on skip for now, but if you'd like to learn to pair a PS4 controller or Xbox One controller to your Android smartphone, it should be the same process for iOS as well. I'll leave uh, two videos I've made in the description below to show you how to pair your controller. But anyways, like I said, I'm just going to tap on skip. Steam Link is now going to search for all the computers on your network with Steam open and have the remote play setting enabled. So at this point, hopefully your PC shows up in the list of computers. My PC is desktop H2E. However, if your PC does not show up in the list, you can try and tap other computers. This will give you a four digit code to enter in the remote play settings in Steam on your PC. So once your PC is recognized, tap on it and it's going to give you an authorization pin, which you're then gonna need to enter in Steam on your PC. So go back onto your PC, open Steam, and a window is going to pop up, and it's going to ask you to authorize your mobile device by entering the PIN from Steam Link. So go ahead and enter the PIN, and then click on OK. Now that our PC is connected to our device, Steam Link is going to do a network test to see if the connection is strong enough to stream games from. For the best results, it's recommended that your PC is connected via Ethernet or a 5GHz Wi-Fi connection. A high upload speed is also recommended. I would recommend having an upload speed of at least 10 megabits per second. I have an upload speed of around 14 megabits per second, which is a pretty decent upload speed and I didn't have too many issues streaming my games, maybe a lag spike here and there. Basically the higher your upload speed, the better experience you're going to have. So hopefully at this point the network test was completed successfully and was able to test a bandwidth up to 100 megabytes per second. So now go ahead and press OK. The setup process on the phone side of things is now done and you will now be brought to the main menu screen. Hopefully you see three check marks in the center of your screen. The first check mark means that our PC is successfully paired and connected with Steam Link. The second shows that you have a controller connected. I just went ahead and paired my Xbox One S controller and that is being recognized by Steam Link. And the final check mark shows that you have a good connection. Now before we start streaming our games, we're going to want to head over to the PC one more time to check a few more settings. So finally on the PC side of things, we're just going to want to check a few more settings. So you're going to want to come up here to the top left hand corner, click on Steam again, and then settings. And we're just going to want to head back down to the remote play section. So hopefully under the device name, you should see your mobile device. So right here is my OnePlus 5 that we just paired earlier. If you'd like to unpair your device, just go ahead and click on it to highlight your device and then click on unpair device to completely unpair your device from Steam Link. But at this point, I'm just going to leave my phone paired. So there's a few options we can mess with if you would like. So we have some advanced host options here. I don't really know too much uh, about this, these settings here, but if you know what you're doing, you can go ahead and tinker with these. I'm just going to leave these uh, default for now. But one setting we're probably going to want to take a look at is the client options here. So we have an option to stream, stream our games fast, balanced, or beautiful. Uh, what these mean is if you select fast, your the quality of the game on your phone, on your mobile device, it, it's going to be pretty crappy. It's going to be very pixely, uh, but you'll have the best performance. So your game's not going to lag and there's not going to be too much of a delay. 
balanced is kind of in the middle, your quality is going to be okay and you're going to have okay performance. And then beautiful means that your performance is going to suffer a bit, you might experience some more lag, but the graphical quality of your game on your phone is going to be the best, you'll probably experience less pixelation. Uh, but in my opinion, I think just balanced is the best. You'll have decent quality and decent performance. And then also there's some advanced client options you can tinker with if you know what you're doing, but we're also going to leave that okay for now or at default for now. And I'm just, just going to click on okay. And then we can click on okay to exit out of the steam settings. And now we can finally go ahead and head back to our mobile device and start streaming our game. Now we are finally ready to stream our games. On the main menu of Steam Link, tap or use your controller to select Start Playing. If you've already used Steam Link like I have, you can quickly launch recently played games from the bottom of your screen. Once you've done that, Steam Link will then connect to your PC and if everything went correctly, Steam will launch into big picture mode on your PC and this will be mirrored onto your phone. Now we can select the game we want to play. Use your controller to navigate Steam's big picture mode. To view all installed games on your PC, navigate to the Install tab in Big Picture Mode or Recently Played to see all your recently played games. The game I'm going to choose in this example is Rocket League. Great, Rocket League has launched and it's now being streamed onto my Android smartphone. I'm using my Xbox One controller to navigate the main menu and I'm just going to launch into a free play game just to test everything out. Now that we're in the game, it's good just to test out that there's no delay or lag. In this case for Rocket League, it's very smooth with no noticeable delay, and it's very playable. The delay will differ from game to game, but games that are more graphic intensive or fast paced will have a longer, more noticeable, or even an unplayable delay. One final thing I want to show you guys is that you do not need to be on the same connection as your PC to stream your games once the setup process is complete. So I went ahead and disconnected my phone from Wi-Fi and enabled mobile data. I then restarted the Steam Link app and I was able to continue my game where I left off and I was able to play Rocket League with no lag. The only difference here is that there was a little bit more pixelation shown in game as my 4G isn't as strong as Wi-Fi. To stop streaming your game and to exit out of Steam Link, just quit your game like normal. Then once you're back on Steam's big picture menu, just press the back button on your controller until you reach the Welcome to Steam page. Then select the power button in the top right hand corner of your screen and select Stop Remote Play. Alright, so that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.